वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन लेक्चर टू ऑफ साइंस लेसन एट दैट इज मोशन नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फॉर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन अनदर दैट इज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन आई हैव मेड अ टेबल एज एन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू दैट इज यूनिफॉर्म एंड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स एस आई हैव केप द डिस्टेंस फॉर अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिस्टेंस कवर कवर्स इक्वल डिस्टेंस इन इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम इफ आई से दैट यू आर आर ड्राइविंग अ कार और अ बाइक नाउ सपोज इफ आई टेक अ बाइक दैट यू आर ट्रैवलिंग ऑन अ बाइक एंड दिस बाइक इज ट्रैवलिंग एट एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम लाइक सपोज इन फर्स्ट वन आवर यू आर ट्रैवलिंग इन थर्टी किलोमीटर स्पीड अनदर वन आवर ऑल्सो यू आर गोइंग ऑन थर्टी किलोमीटर स्पीड इन द थर्ड आवर ऑल्सो यू आर गोइंग इन द थर्टी किलोमीटर स्पीड That means you have travelled thirty kilometers in first hour because kilometer per hour, that is thirty kilometers in one hour, thirty kilometers in another hour, and thirty kilometers in another hour. So you are covering equal distance in equal interval of time. That is called as a uniform motion. Now, what is a non-uniform motion? That it does not cover equal distances in the same period of time. Suppose for uh, the first one hour, you have travelled with the speed of fifty uh, kilometers per hour. Second hour, you have travelled with the speed of Uh, say uh, uh, 10 kilometers per hour. So if I total out the total, the average comes out to be again 30. Now in the first one also you have been traveling consistently with 30 in uniform, but in now here first hour you have traveled 50 kilometers and second hour you have traveled due to traffic only 10 kilometers. But the overall you have traveled 60 kilometers in two hours. But in the first case, first hour, first hour also you traveled with 30 kilometers. Second hour, second hour also you traveled with 30 kilometers. So now, if you see in two hours you have traveled sixty kilometers. In the second case also you have traveled sixty kilometers, but the speed was not uniform. So this is called as a non-uniform motion. Does not covers equal distance in same period of time. Now, according to the average speed, the motion is similar to the actual speed of an object. That means the average speed that we took that was thirty kilometers in first case of uniform. It was actually thirty kilometers every time. But in the second case. The average speed was 30 kilometers per hour, but the actual speed was not same. It was 10 and 50 in the second case. So the motion is different from the actual speed, right? So that is called as a non-uniform motion. The third point is rectilinear motion. In a, in case of rectilinear motion, the acceleration in case of uniform motion is zero. Why? Because you had been not actual acceleration is zero, but yes. You as a physical body, uh, as you are sitting on the bike, your acceleration is zero. Uh, as if the petrol and everything is burning, that way the acceleration can be counted. But as you are sitting on a bike and you are traveling at the speed of thirty kilometers per hour, so overall object the acceleration is zero. That means it was traveling thirty kilometer in consistency. That was neither the speed was increasing overall, neither the speed was decreasing. So that neither it was an acceleration, neither it was deceleration in both the cases it was zero that's why it is called as an uniform motion as if in the case of uh, the bike which was traveling with an uneven speed yes first 50 kilometers per hour and 10 kilometers per hour so first initially it was in an accelerated motion in the second time the acceleration motion that was that means it was an deceleration motion up and down of the speed was there that's why the acceleration and deceleration was seen So it is non-zero, right? Now, in the case of third point, uh, that is a distance travelled graph. If you see both the graphs, in the first case of graph, you are able to see that it is a straight line, right? It it is a straight line, uh, and you are able to see in every minute it has been shown that ten meter, twenty meter, thirty meter. For every one minute, it was ten. For two minutes, it was twenty. It was for three minutes, it is thirty. That is called as a same distance travelled with same uh, uh, period of time. It shows a straight line graph. Where in the case of a non-uniform, you see that it's uneven. It may be curved. It may be an uneven. Uneven. Uneven is a more correct word. Why? Because every first minute, if you see the distance travelled was maybe ten, but in the second case, it might not be twenty. It might be more than twenty. Or it might be less than twenty, but it was not twenty. In the third case, also, if you see, in the third minute, it was not thirty, right? So such kind of uh, motions are called as a non-uniform motions. It's not uniform. That means every period of time, 
the distance traveled is not same that is why it is an uneven graph it may be curvature it may be uneven but in case of uniform motion you may see the straight line fine so this was particular thing for this particular lecture thank you.